Hi guys, so welcome in this video. Uh, so today we're going to discuss about uh, protocol fuzzing and uh, for that we're going to use uh, SCAPI. So SCAPI is a really, really famous uh, and really well-designed tool that will uh, allow you to manipulate um, packets uh, and actually to even create packets from scratch. So it's really useful and uh, as I mentioned, really powerful. So uh, today we're going to use Capi, uh, but we will not create the packet by ourselves. We will actually leverage on one function of Capi that is uh, named uh, Fuzz. And basically this function will allow us to uh, generate some valid packet from scratch. Um, so that will be uh, really useful, really interesting. And uh, after that, I will just create some uh, tiny further uh, around that um, and uh, we're going to target uh, one library that is named um, dpkt uh, that is a library in python uh, the main idea is basically what i'm doing right now i will do i will do that against dpkt but you can basically do that against whatever um, server that is dealing with the same protocol uh, and actually since Capi is dealing and is able to handle a lot of protocol uh, you can do really a lot of stuff so it will be pretty simple a uh, pretty basic introduction to to protocol fuzzing with Capi. Uh, and maybe later if you like the video we will do some more uh, advanced stuff so we're going to use uh, Scapi, so it's available in scapi.net and of course on github as well so for the installation, it's nothing really complicated, to be honest. Um, you just need to uh, do a sudo apt install scapi, and um, you can also do, uh, and uh, you should do pip3 install scapi, uh, and just force to be sure you are using the latest version. So nothing complicated right there. And as I mentioned, for the target, it will be dpkt. So uh, it's a library that is used for parsing and decoding of um, of network packets. Uh, so you have all the information directly right there on the dpkt uh, website and you have the github repository as well. Um, so you will need that um, to um, determine which um, basically which protocol is supported by dpkt. So in this case, in the case of this uh, course, um, this video, we're going to use, we're going to target DNS and TCP. Uh, but uh, as you can see, there is really a lot of protocols that are uh, basically supported by um, by DPKT. So you can fuzz uh, a lot of it. So uh, let's start. So basically, uh, for the installation of DPKT, just pip3 install, nothing really fancy there. So let's start with a really simple uh, DNS fuzzer. So I want to, to show you the code uh, briefly. So first of all, you need to import DPKT. You will need to import SCAPI. And then I create my uh, my function. So this function will be really simple. It will just call, uh, it will just do the fuzzing. I mean, it's an infinite loop, so it will try to fuzz um, infinitely. So that's the while true. Then we're going to use, um, we're going to generate some DNS packets right there with capi fuzz. So that's what we are doing right there. Um, we are creating an empty uh, DNS packet. We are using the function fuzz of Scapi. So in that case, we're going to basically, um, what will happen inside is that um, each field will be replaced with like some uh, random number. Um, and then we're going to ask um, Scapi row uh, in order to convert this structure, this internal structure of Scapi, into some uh, arbitrary uh, byte. So um, at the end, we have some uh, some bytes right there. So those bytes will be provided to dpkt dns dns, and this function is the constructor and uh, is able actually to take some uh, arbitrary byte and do the job uh, from there. So uh, we are catching if there is any exception, and if it's the case, we are uh, converting back back those arbitrary bytes into a DNS packet. So it's a SCAPI DNS in that case. And we are calling the function uh, show just to get some uh, proper overview of the content. And we are raising the exception because as I mentioned, the, the particularity of this first function is that um, all the 
packet generated using that should be valid packet. Uh, it's not like other, other, uh, I don't know, like Atheris, uh, if you are dealing with Python or IFL and so on, that will uh, basically generate some invalid packet. In that case, it, it will be grammar based fuzzing because actually Scapy is aware of the grammar uh, and the, the format. It will even be more like structure aware fuzzing in, in these cases. Um, and it will generate some valid data from that. But it will be valid packet, not invalid. And after that, we are just calling this function. So let's give it a try. Um, so it's the uh, simple SCAPI uh, first DNS uh, script. So you have uh, the, the link to the script directly in the description below. Uh, so we are doing Python 3, um, simple Copy first, and we are launching the stuff. So we can see start DNS, fuzzing DNS, and that's all. So that's the, the, the bad part. It's, as I mentioned, like a really, really simple uh, script. And as you can see, uh, we are not getting a lot of information of what is happening. So we don't even know if, uh, if it's good or not. So let's interrupt that. Let's modify quickly the stuff. So what we can do is actually, uh, since we can just show for each time, we will get an overview of what has been generated. Let's run that again. And in that case, we will get a lot of stuff. So as you can see, we have uh, like the IDs that have been modified, the opcode. Uh, then there is some other flags, other fields that have been uh, modified. Uh, as you can see, there is some fields that think they are not modified at all. There is the air code that is modified as well. Um, so it's changing, not implemented, 14, format error, and so on. So it's doing the job, uh, and we are generating some proper stuff. So that's nice. Uh, what will be even better uh, will be to improve the further, to actually be able to uh, get some statistics and some overview of what is happening. So that's basically what I've done. I took the exact same piece of code. And in that case, uh, I've, um, tr uh, I've started to monitor what is happening. So I'm um, getting the time before the infinite loop. Uh, we have a, a, a case counter. Uh, and basically, each time we're going to generate and process some packet, we will uh, increment the, um, the counter. And um, every uh, 50,000 cases, uh, so that's why there is a modulo, every 50,000 cases, we're going to print the, number, the total number of cases that have been executed and uh, we're going to print the number of cases per second. So that's what this uh, line of code is uh, about. Okay. And if there is any exception, we're going to print the exception. We're going to get the um, we're going to get the, the current speed. Uh, and is similarly, we're going to um, print in a more readable way the uh, all the data that have been generated by uh, SCAPI. So in our cases, again, SCAPI is generating some DNS packets that will be directly processed by uh, DPKT. So let's run this uh, new one, Python 3. And uh, it will be uh, SCAPI first uh, DNS. So if we run the stuff, as you can see, we will start to get um, some uh, statistics. So uh, as I told you, it's 50, every 50,000 execution, and uh, we are running on a single core uh, in, that, uh, in that way. Um, of course, you can also um, implement like multi-threading. Uh, it will not be too complicated, uh, even really not complicated with SCAPI, with, since SCAPI is also uh, like pure Python. So that will be really nice. So we are getting like yeah 5,000 per second in average, so not so bad. Um, and uh, as I mentioned again, it's um, only valid packets that have been generated. So that's was for DNS. Uh, right now we can actually give a try to other protocols. So as you can see uh, right there, I do the exact same stuff but for TCP. So in that case, we are using DPK, we are targeting DPKT TCP TCP. So that's the constructor. Uh, and in that case, we are generating a TCP um, packet uh, using uh, SCAPI. So um, not really complicated. It's really similar to the code you saw previously. And this one will be a bit more interesting because this one will actually crash. 
so we will get uh, the, the, the crushing cases. So as you can see, uh, after some execution, in that case, after 33 execution, we are getting an exception. Uh, we are getting an invalid header length. So that's an exception because we are printing the exception back right there. That is coming from DPKT uh, with the unpack error. And uh, okay, it seems that there is some issue with the length. So um, in that case, and that's for this specific, two specific values right there. So the main question right now will be, is the issue is because of SCAPI or is the issue is because of uh, DPKT? So in the first case, that means uh, SCAPI is uh, generating some invalid uh, packets with the first function. And on the other side, that, mean, um, that will mean DPKT is not handling a valid packet and it will consider that as invalid. So that will be a, a logic bug. So this, this tool, uh, this kind of, um, I will say, setup is particularly useful if you want to give a try to some libraries that will deal with some known protocol by SCAPI and uh, to detect uh, especially logic bugs that will be really powerful because each packet generated by SCAPI should be valid. So uh, if, it's, if you have any exception, uh, that means something wrong is happening either on the SCAPI side or either in uh, DPKT. So um, that's all for today. Uh, as usual, you have all the uh, link uh, and all those uh, script directly uh, below on the description. Um, let me know what you would like to see uh, next. And uh, as usual, you can um, also uh, download all the stuff directly on, on my website uh, right there. So uh, see you next time. And um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video. Thank you.